Hello, my name is Amanda Lind. I work for Blue Marble Geographics. Today we're going to talk about how to use the Elevation QC tool. For today's example, I have a DEM of a golf course and some ground control points that we gathered in the field using an RTK GPS unit. We can see in the path profile here that this ground control point is a lot higher than the elevation layer here. So I'm going to use the elevation QC tool to measure the distance, to measure the vertical offset between the ground control points and the elevation layer, and then to bring the elevation layer up to match the ground control points and increase its accuracy. Pretty easy to do. I'm going to grab the tool from the top toolbar here. It lets you choose which layers you would like to work with. You can use multiple layers for either your points or your elevations. You can also limit which points you're working with by selecting them before opening the tool. I'll click OK to confirm my layers, and then it computes the offset. The math is done, but it hasn't applied anything to the layer yet, and this gives you an opportunity to assess the offset and determine whether or not you would like to apply the offset to change the elevation of the layer. So let's look at what some of these outputs are. This feature measurement information box includes not only the calculated outputs, but some of the uh, attribute data from the ground control point. So this may look a little different from yours, and that's OK. What we want to look at is what was calculated. So we will look at the grid elevation attribute here. So this is the elevation of the nearest grid cell to the ground control point. Then we have the elevation column here. This is the ground control point elevation. And then these two, elevation difference and elevation difference absolute, is the difference between those two heights, the grid cell and the point. The elevation difference is negative in this case because the ground control point is above the surface layer. And then we have the RMSE, the uh, error of measurement between those two points. So looking at this, we have a few options. If you wanted, you could export it to a CSV file and copy it to clipboard as a way to kind of measure accuracy of your layer. But if you're OK with these offsets and you want to go ahead and apply that correction, you click Fit to Control Points. I will confirm the commit, and it's already adjusted. We can see in the Path Profile tool that the elevation layer has shift, shifted up to meet the ground control points. These little errors that you're seeing are the width of my Path Profile to help make sure I was able to see the point within the layer. To compare it to the original layer, I can turn that on here. I've just double loaded the same layer. And we can see the elevation difference is significant between this orange line up here at the top at 109 meters and this blue line, the original layer, down here at 104. If you would like to learn more about Global Mapper, visit our website at bluemarblegeo.com. If you have any questions, email our support team at geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com. Thank you for watching.